Good afternoon. This is Matisse Bustos-Hawks with Witness. I'm the communications manager here. And as part of our 20th anniversary, we're going to be hosting a series of interviews with people that are very close to Witness and, um, and others from around the world over the course of the next 12 months. And I'm really happy to introduce our first interviewee, who is our executive director, Yvette Alberding Time. So Yvette, I would love to have you introduce yourself and your, your role and your history with the organization. Yeah, Matisse, thank you. So my name is Yvette Alberding Time. Um, I joined Witness almost exactly four years ago as its executive director. Before that, I had spent four years on the board of Witness, and I had gotten to know the organization as just an incredibly well-organized, well effective uh, social entrepreneur, and um, had seen a lot of its functioning and its impact. Um, and and uh, I myself come from a background of technology and media with a deep, deep, deep interest in human rights, and I thought Witness just was an incredible organization because it was so on the borders between media, technology, and human rights, and, and fulfilled a unique place in the human rights landscape. So it's been almost coming on my fourth anniversary as the ED now. And um, thanks for that brief overview. We um, obviously are all about the power of visual imagery and how uh, video can impact human rights change. And so the series of interviews that we're doing, we're going to be asking pretty much the same questions of each interview, E, um, and, and that is around, is there an image or a video that impacted you personally that really stood out for you with respect to human rights or social change um, at any point throughout your life? Yeah, clearly. I, I think we all have amazing images in our heads and, and obviously the power of visual imagery to really move people to, to action and to have that sort of immediate emotional response from people is so, um, it's, it's so different from reading a document that tells you what happens. Um, so I would say that for me personally there are obviously so many images from when I was very young to now every day at Witness we see the evidence that citizen witnesses are bringing to us or to our new human rights channel on YouTube. One of the images that is one of a few years ago that for me was really key is there's a young woman called Memory in Zimbabwe. She's a young woman, she's probably around 30 years old. She lived um, a fairly peaceful life in Zimbabwe, but she became politically active. And as we know, Zimbabwe has a very oppressive uh, regime under Mugabe, and, and there's huge repercussions in terms of people being tortured and people being persecuted because they become politically active. And it's clearly not an environment where you can freely express sort of your opinion and that there's huge ramifications when you do. And, and she in a small way got involved in politics and then was pursued by the gangs of uh, Mugabe and was uh, repeatedly raped. And one of the things she did is um, she works together with a, a local NGO called Rao that we have as our partner and, and we partner to make sure that her story was told. And she tells a really moving story but also very much a resolved story in the sense that she wants to make sure her story is shared with people of what happened to her and how she was assaulted and and I think that that story is an incredibly important story for people to see and to hear and she was amazingly brave to tell it and in the end of this video she stands in her doorway and she looks straight in the camera and she says basically says I'm just a normal woman and she basically says would you let this happen to your wife and one of the key strategic distribution goals for that video video is that it goes it's been screened in the government in the parliament in Zimbabwe it has been screened in places where people who can make decisions can see it and it speaks very directly to people in power and it puts the responsibility on them to act in, an, in what still is a very, very difficult human rights situation. Um, but I think just the fact that her story was shared and that that story is no longer buried or forgotten is, is incredibly important. That's a really great and powerful example. I mean, what's interesting about it too, Yvette, is that I think a lot of times when people think about 
powerful examples of human rights video, they often think of quite graphic images or yeah. things that are happening in the moment. And what you've just shared is actually testimony. It's a story, yeah. a personal story that somebody is, has, has shared um, quite bravely, in fact. Yeah, and that's exactly right. And I think we see very frequently that just the human story, the personal story, can be an amazing tool for justice. I mean, similarly, we've been working in Brazil where there are people who are living in in the favelas who are being uh, forcibly evicted because of the upcoming uh, World Cup and the Olympics, in the Summer Olympics in 2016. And there's, for example, one story of a, of a woman called Angelisa, who is an incredible uh, woman who's lived for years in her community, who is being evicted from her home together with her 17-year-old daughter. And I, to me, when I see her story and how brave she is, and all she's saying is, I want to be consulted, I want to be talked to when people are coming and taking my house without compensating me. I am a Rio resident, I love this city, I want to be part of this. And that's another really good example of, of when you actually, I, it's not a story anyone could, would be able to share, but when you see it, there's such humanity in it and it's so clear that her rights are being violated. Yeah, those are both really, really great examples. Um, you know, what w we talk a lot about the role that video plays in in gaining human rights change and in justice um, in, in not just documenting violations but also helping to write them and I wonder if you have some specific thoughts based on some of the conversations we have at Witness or you know conversations yeah. you're having about the role that video may or could play in the future with respect to making you know creating human rights change yeah, clearly, you know, as we are as we're in our 20th year, Witness was really founded on a very powerful, strong vision and idea, which is what if every person had a camera in their hands, what would they film and what could they change? So, so turning the world into human rights defenders. And we have seen over the last 20 years working closely on the ground with grassroots activists that it actually makes a difference. We've had videos screened in tribunals and before the UN and in places and it has you know put warlords behind bars it has really changed policies and practices I feel that right now where we're at with witness as an organization that this is the moment where that original vision truly can catalyze and really become a reality because people now have cameras in their hands ordinary citizens are filming what they're seeing around them in repressive regimes like what we're seeing coming out of Syria, but also a, a gay youth in Illinois may film what's happening in his community and want to take action. And I think we have an incredible moment for people to document and actually hold people accountable um, with their stories. So I think in many ways it's a witness moment and what we're doing with the organization right now is making sure that this specific expertise that we have built up over the years and this amazing network of grassroots activists that we work with gets put to sort of the maximum use and that we can share that with as many people as possible so that they can effectively tell their stories to create real tangible human rights change. That's yeah. the plan. That's the plan. Yeah. It's a big one but it sounds yeah. great. Um, is there anything else with respect to you know this being Witness's 20th year um, you know, either either what we have planned for this year or any specific ask um, or, or thoughts you have about the future of the organization that you'd like to share in sort of a closing closing remarks. Yeah, I, I would say clearly we have been incredibly lucky to have so many people support us and really be part of this change. People from media, people from technology, just people who care about human rights and care about the world that we live in. And that is only growing. So I would ask you if you watch this to join us, this is an amazing moment where we can really catalyze a movement of people that start filming and that actually can create human rights change. And I think it takes all of us because as we are all seeing, particularly at the moment in Syria, there are, there, you know, human rights abuses are still very much happening and, um, and we really need to bond together to make sure that uh, we can hold people accountable and that we can fight against those. So, say, come join us. Awesome. Thanks for your time, Yvette. Um, really Thank you. Helping us kick, kick us off.
Um, and I just wanted to, to let everybody know that this will be on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash witness. It will also appear on our website, which we hope you will visit, www.witness.org. And you can also find us on Twitter at witnessorg. Um, and of course, here on Google+, um, just search for Witness, and we'd love to have you join us here on Google+, um, and across the web. Um, is there anybody, last question, is there anyone specific that you follow, um, Yvette, across any of those networks that I just mentioned that you'd like to highlight or give a shout out to? Well, I would say Andy Carvin is doing an incredible job, um, who, you know, to me, the citizen journalists are becoming rapidly human rights defenders, so again, it's just a great symbol of how our worlds are merging and, and how people are really doing the job, particularly in repressive regimes where the journalists can no longer come, of making sure we have those stories and then it's our job at Witnesses to make sure that those stories make a difference. So that's one and there are many, many others. So um, we love people sharing their stories via online social media. Absolutely. And again, you can find us uh, sharing many of these stories and amplifying them on social media. Um, again, Twitter, Witness, ORG. Uh, Google Plus, look for Witness, and our website, witness.org. Thank you so much, Yvette. And Thank uh, you. everybody who's watching, thanks a lot, and we'll yeah. see you again very shortly with another installment. Bye. Bye.